Mazer Gaming Shine, both of them vying for that same winner semi spot. We already saw two people on stream punching their tickets into winner semis with Chag and Charlie the King. One of these two will be joining them. Once again, if you'd like to follow the bracket along with us, be sure to type the exclamation mark bracket command into chat or just go to smash.gg slash MSM. That's Mega Smash Mondays, the first initials of each of those words. Or just follow the action all at home if you're enjoying today's content. Once again, for more tournaments like today's action, be sure to drop a follow or a subscription. It is September, so all new subs and all new gifted subs will be only 250. That's half price for the first time. Shine is just going to be going for the Pokemon Trainer again. It looks like this is just a character he's been settling into for a lot of different matchups, Eon's Joker included. Game one of Winner's Quarters is going to be played on Smashville. Down throw into Nair this time. One disadvantage for Shine in this particular matchup, especially playing at these early percents, as these down guns are almost going to do it in. But so makes it back. A lot of Pokemon Trainers' combo game relies on multi-hit moves, whether it's perhaps that any of Ivysaur's tilts or the Nair and the early percent Kung Fu from Squirtle, which is only going to feed the beast that is our Sen. Gets the drag down upper as well into the down smash. Shine is going to be out of that first dock. Eon already sitting with that meter over half full and only 29% registered. Shine has dug quite the hole for himself to come back from. Bear this time. A bit too late on the switch to go for the down air, but Eon will be getting that throw combo once again. bit too early on the Tetragon, perhaps. We know that Charizard has multiple jumps, so Shine would be a fool not to use them, especially with such a potent and large counter as Arsene's that is there. Gonna have to use the Flare Blitz to make it back. Although the down air from Shine, a violent way to end that first dock for Eon. As that Legend vulnerability ran out, he's gonna be out of that first dock. Has a bit of a narrow pathway back. Drag down up air on top of the platform. The up smash not quite carrying off the talk. Charizard very heavy. The back throw with a bit of rage will send Eon to 22%. Another drag down up air. Although this time he just wasn't positioned. As I say it though, Eon finds another up smash. And Shine already going to be percent sent to that final stock of his. And if that weren't troublesome enough, here comes our, here comes our send the bad, bad man, and goes deep for another aerial. That may not be able to make it back from Shine. Perhaps if he had used the flare blitz a bit earlier, but out of both of his jumps, just had no distance and no way of making it back. Eon with a dominant game one. But we've seen Shine drop game one on stream earlier today and still be able to advance. However, that was not against his opponent. As formidable as Eon is. Stop the battle. Joker. We'll be sticking with the trainer. So, for better or for worse, it looks like Shine has really just found found at least something going with the character. Although that being said, he is taking his time here. Pokemon Trainer. It remains Eon's Joker. 
against Shine's trainer for game two on the Kalos. Perhaps a bit of a change in venue will be the change that Shine needs, but. For Eon, this is a stage that he personally loves. This is a stage that he often gets counterpicked to, so I know he's had a lot of practice, particularly against heavies. I know Rafi almost exclusively went here when he had to face him with his Bowser. So when Charizard comes out, Eon will know exactly what to do. Drag down upper into the grab this time. Shine already up to 77%, only 30 seconds in. Eon continuing to play on the front foot here. Dash attack, put him to the other side of the stage. Joker does have the wall jump as well, an additional advantage. Backer almost doing it. Such a sweeping hitbox. With a good tech off of the flare blitz. And rewarded for his shoulder button press with Arsene. F-tilt will put him off stage and has to use the floor boats to make it back, but at the cost of quite a bit for Sen. An up throw or a forward throw, actually. And that time, he was just too close. The flare blitz would not have expired before he reached the legend. As he ricochets off, Eon finds the kill. Takes away this time. Switches away. I like the decision from Shine. Both get rid of gets rid of Squirtle, perhaps when Eon's already at high percent, and gives him a bit of invincibility to avoid the grappling hook. Another grappling hook this time. And yet another Eon has been really just honed on to where Shina has been this entire match. Dash attack will put him back off stage. A familiar place for Shine this entire set. Backer will come back off stage. Although Flare Blitz is back and does have both of his jumps saved, doesn't even need to use the up special, so he's able to gain stage control for the moment. Parries the Flare Blitz though, and Shine's already up to 182%. And just a quick upwards move from Eon. Didn't even need to go for a hard F smash. Not much that a character, even as heavy as Charizard, can do with those percents. Shine is on to winner side stock. Down air from Eon. Has to play this almost to perfection, but that being said, Shane is starting to make this back, inch by inch. A bit late on the dare there. Might have had the invincibility to sort of survive it in either fashion. Goes forth, parries that though. Right now, with some of the stellar play from Eon, it's not looking like a matter of if, it's looking like a matter of when. Down throw from Shine will put it back off stage. Still not gonna do it. Whiffs the up special, and that's gonna be an easy F smash for Eon. He is gonna live it, but who knows for how much longer. Back throw across the stage. Second one as he's falling. Misses the tech. Is able to make it back, though. Drag on up air into the down smash, and Eon, with a quick two stock there, is going to evaporate Shine's final stock, punching his ticket into winner's semis, and very confusing.